everybody. Um, today we're going to be looking at some measuring activities. We're going to be looking at measuring using a ruler for now today and looking at centimetres and we're going to be doing that for a year two activity but you could do it for older children as well. We're just going to be looking to the nearest centimetre but obviously with older children you could do it with more accuracy and looking at centimetres and millimetres and even bringing in those decimal numbers as well. For Gabriel we're going to be doing some measuring as well and we're going to be looking at doing it with some non-standard units of measure. No, it's we're going to be doing... Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm cold. Uh, we're going to be doing it with some um, building blocks today, some cubes, you could use Lego bricks as well, or something else as a non-standard unit of measure. And we're going to be doing that with his toys in a few minutes. So we'll have a look at what Noah's doing first, Gabriel, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you want to just go and sit over there and play quietly with your dinosaurs for a minute? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, so Noah, are we ready to have a look at yours? Yep. Yeah. So Noah's going to be doing some wiggly worm measuring today. So if we just have a look what we've got here. Mm -hmm. So we've got a ruler. I've put it on um, a piece of card just so we can see the numbers through because on the dark tabletop we wouldn't be able to. And these are our wiggly worms. Now you could use string or bits of wool instead or even little strips of paper. You could even draw them if you wanted to as well. But we're going to use um, some cut up pipe cleaners. I've pre-cut these and I've made sure that they are pretty close to the nearest centimetre. Now then what's really important when children are measuring with a ruler is that they start from zero. Children often start from the end of the ruler like so rather than from zero and that will give them the incorrect answer. It won't be as accurate as it should be. So Noah, yeah. which wiggly worm do you want to measure first? Well, you want to measure that one? Yeah. Why that one? Because it's the smallest. Because it's the smallest. So we're just getting that language That's in as we're well. Gonna, I'm going to do the medium, then the biggest. Okay, well, you've got two, haven't you, that look a bit similar in size as well. Which two look similar in size? Yeah, they do look very similar, don't they? So shall we measure your little one? So start it at zero. That's it. The centimetre. So put it to zero because we're not quite at zero yet, are we? You might need to use both hands. <laughs> it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Six. So let's have a look. Centimetres. So I'm just going to move your ruler along slightly. Yep, yeah, so we've got six centimetres. I'm really pleased you said that centimetres. No, it's really important we sell units of measure. Otherwise, it could be we could be talking about elephants or packets of crisps <laughs> or something completely different. Which one are you going to do now? This one. This one. Okay. Because it's like the bigger brother. Like the bigger brother. So let's just put that down. Try moving your ruler to the right place rather than the wiggly worm. So you want to start at zero, don't you? That's it. What does that measure? How many centimetres? Eight. Eight centimetres. Now hang on. This one, mm -hmm. just by looking at it, I want you to make an estimate. So that means a sensible guess. If this one's eight centimetres, how long do you think this one might be? Nine. Nine. I think that's a sensible guess because it's it's longer, isn't it? So shall we try measuring the red one? Now your wiggly worm is going up a little bit there, isn't it? Nine to ten. It's between nine and ten. If I just make it a bit straighter, what does it measure now? Nine. Have a look. Ten. It goes to ten, doesn't it? Should we do the last one, the longest one? How many do you think that's going to be, just by looking at it? Let's make an estimate as well. Just by looking at it, how many centimetres do you think it's going to be? The red one was 10. Let's put it next to it. 12. Okay, let's put it down and have yeah, a look then. Yeah, because it did two more than the other Well, let's have a see. See what it means. Let's have a look first of all, Noah, because you're not at zero. Wobbly. Shall I hold it at zero and you can hold it down at the other end? So I'm holding it at zero. What does it measure? 14. 14. Centimetres. Centimetres. Good boy. Well done. So that's your activity. Gabriel, we're going to have a look at yours now. Could you go sit on that chair for me, please? And we'll have a look at what you're doing. Because you're doing some measuring as well, but you're doing it with some non-standard units of measure. You're going to be using the cubes. And dinosaurs. And dinosaurs as well. You could use any toys for this, but I know that the dinosaurs we've got have a range of sizes, which is why I've chosen these ones. Can you get that one? Yeah. Right. Now then. 
I want us to have a look at this dinosaur mm. and we're going to measure Gabriel from its feet from the ears. all the way up to its head using the cubes. So yeah. let's put it down because each dinosaur we're going Let to... Me just Okay, each dinosaur we're going to look at today, Gabriel, we're going to measure its tallest point. So some of them we won't be measuring to the head on. Ones like this one we'll be measuring to here because this is its tallest point. Well done, Gabriel. Keep going. Mm -hmm. I did the at the top. Got a few more to go yet, haven't you? To get right to the top. Keep it has got a very long neck, hasn't it? Now, you don't have to use toys for this. You could use a picture book and measure the um, images in a picture book and notice the different sizes between those pictures. It's We're just using cues, but you could use side. Lego bricks Isn't instead. There. You're squashing them together. Yeah. We still need some more, don't we? Yeah. We're not quite there yet. We're nearly there. That's the tallest dinosaur. It's the tallest one, isn't it, that we've got? Are we at the top yet? Or do we need another one? Let's get right to the top. One. Another one. So, Gabriel. Okay, we're going to go to the just the nearest that we can. Whoa, right, that's wow. There. How many cubes tall is this dinosaur at its highest point? Can you count them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 cubes tall. Right, let's just move this one to here. And this time we're yeah, going yeah, to yeah. measure this uh, this one. The do you think... Guy there. So, do you think this dinosaur is going to be... Taller or shorter than this one? Shorter. Shorter. Let's see then. We're going to its highest point, so start measuring. Get yourself some cubes as quick as you can. One, two, three. <laughs> These are a bit hair. Let me help one. Do you want me to squash them together as you get them out? Yeah, this is a bit... Go on then, you keep squashing them together. You see so, the the dark. Go on, keep getting them. That's an idea. So you could ask um, even children in the UIFS, you know, which is going to have the most cubes, which is going to have the least cubes. Then you could do some, uh, how many more cubes does one have to the Let's other? See. Does it need some more? I think so. Let's go to the top of its head. You put it on. Go on. You nearly right. done that one. You did all the others. Right. Have we got enough? Yeah. Can you count how many that is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. How many cubes, Gabriel, do you think that one will be just by looking at it? If this one's seven, how many cubes tall do you think this one might be? A whittle How many? Not a doll, it's a whittle. It is little. How many cubes do you think would you would need? Uh, three. three cubes. That would be a good estimate. And if we look, it's pretty much three cubes as well. So that's a really good estimate that he's made. So those are our practical activities for today. Um, we'll be doing some more measuring tomorrow, so please do join us for that. Uh, remember, you can find lots more practical ideas and resources over on our timetable at classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.